Okay, so so I know we talk about pay down for quarterbacks, this and that. But so so I would build this team based on we're talking about a Super Bowl, right? Okay. Okay. So if you can give me the best quarterback to ever do it in the playoffs. He's not the he's not the stat pattern, but he has a lot of stats. Okay? So we'll start with Tom Brady, five dollars. Okay. Fifty percent of the time he's gonna get you to the Super Bowl, right? That's mm-hmm. his career arc. Mm-hmm. Okay. True. True. Then I'm gonna take another five dollar best receiver to ever do it in the playoffs, leading receiver in the history of the playoffs, Jerry Rice. Doesn't leave you a lot of money there. There's plenty left. But there okay. are all Then hall, I'm gonna hall take so I have got the best quarterback to ever play in the playoffs, the best receiver to ever play in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna take Gronk at three dollars. Okay. Okay, the best tight end to ever play in the playoffs. Maybe okay. the best ever. Okay. Okay. Then I'm gonna take Larry Fitzgerald. Your boy. Averages over a hundred yards a game in the playoffs and over one touchdown in the playoffs. Okay. Okay, so he's played ten games, and I know you can give me Megatron. He played two two playoff games, one good, one bad. Mm-hmm. Randy, he was very subpar in playoff games. Uh, to is just going to be too expensive. Tim Brown will pass. So I got Larry Fitzgerald, who had arguably the best playoff postseason as a receiver ever, mm-hmm. right? And then I'm gonna round it out with Marshall Falk. Okay. So, so the best, the best team. receiving <laughs> running back, maybe one of the best to ever do it, and four of the four of the guys who've been the best at their position in the playoffs. 